Hello, I made a cyberpunk Shrek toilet out of garbage because that's how you end 2020. Happy holidays, everyone. Now wake the fudge up, Santa. We got gifts to open. Let's see if he brought what I asked for. This looks promising. Ooh, a Cyber Shrek? So that must mean this is, yep, good old Donkey Silverhoof voiced by Keanu Reeves. These are good, but it's missing the outhouse playset I wanted, so I think we're gonna have to build one from scratch using trash. By the way, if you're wondering where I got these, I keep a Gundam and a Pez dispenser in my bed for the proliferation of the species. I rustled up all the garbage I had at the moment, but the pickings are not looking good this time of year. We're gonna start by turning this mushroom box into a concrete box. If you haven't had mushrooms, I highly recommend them. They're pretty good. One time in college, I boiled them in soy sauce and that was a bad recipe. Eggs are another thing I eat. The lid here has some neat indentations that kind of look like vents to me. I also dig the very rough texture, which means we won't have to work as hard to grunge it up later. Here's an eye beam I made out of cardboard. I don't know who's using such load bearing beams for honey bucket roofs. The future is crazy, y'all. I try to save all trash with interesting textures and designs, especially if it's plastic. This snack pack is dual purpose today, once for the floor, and then as overlapping panels for the metal corrugated roof. I buy socks based on how cool their plastic packaging is. This will be used for outhouse ventilation. Without it, it would just be the world's worst hotbox. A while ago, I saved some of these clipboard clips and I was certain I was never going to use them, but today I am a liar. I'm going to use it to make a dramatically oversized but functional door hinge. When you need circles of varying sizes, just look around you. Wow, a perfect crescent moon. Sometimes people ask me about how I organize my trash so that I can pull up the perfect parts I need, and I would be pretty embarrassed to answer that question. These bits were pulled from various Amazon boxes I keep around my feet that I kick occasionally to make sure the spiders don't get too comfortable. This outhouse would be nothing without a throne. It could have been some Freudian instinct, but it was actually a lot of fun to put together this toilet. It is a place of deep contemplation for many of us, but how often do we contemplate the bowl itself? Perhaps this won't be the only homage du toilet that I craft in my life. Using the hot tip of the glue gun here, I melted a hole to mount the most futuristic flush handle. This bubble tea straw hides a really bad looking gap I forgot to fill, but I also needed a pretend support column anyway. To fill in the space around the base, I'm going to use some sculpt mold to build up some ground form. Just add water till it sounds like this. Mmm, cottage cheese. Just give me some sliced peaches, a handful of raisins, and baby, you got a snack going. After it's had about five minutes to partially dry, just use a wet ass finger to help smooth it out. To help blend the cottage cheese into the mushroom container, glue down some small pebbles from my yard. And then just because this is future times, glue down various Gundam bits and anything that looks like cyber junk. Hey, can you give me a hand over here? Thanks. Before we paint on the grunge, I'm adding some modeling paste for a concrete texture, then sealing it up with black paint, Mod Podge, and a hair dryer so I don't have to wait to paint it. Drying mode on. Deck drying. I based the whole thing in brown for a rust look, then did a sloppy gray pass on the concrete block here. Oh yeah, and then a gray for the toilet as well. All the browns received a light baby's breath of silver for a general rust look, and then I was a little freak and did whatever fun cool colors I was feeling for the cyber junk pile. Here's where Johnny Silverhand was crushed by a falling toilet. In the future, everything's pink and teal, so enjoy colors while you can. Aside from the game's color palette, the only other reference I used was a box of Wildberry Pop-Tarts. If you want to, you can let me know in the comments if you prefer Pop-Tarts toasted or if you have a sophisticated raw palette and prefer pop tartar. I made a little tape stencil and stippled on a hazard strip just because I wanted more colors. I'm not really sure what it's a warning for though. For the toilet, let's paint it up in the iconic cyberpunk yellow. I just think this is a very nice shade of yellow and it is not a toilet as a metaphor for the current state of the game. I upgraded the flush here so users can upload their BMs to the cloud, and then here's another hazard strip to warn you that you're about to use a toilet. Here's a bunch of headphone wires I bundled together that probably do something. Adding the washes on this project was particularly satisfying. Seeing it transform from straight up kinda bad to years of neglect with very little effort made me a proud toilet boy. 
I had never attempted a rust wash before, so I was a little worried to see how bright the Cheeto sauce was when I first dripped it on, but I put my trust in the crafters before me and it worked out. After splotching off most of it with a paper towel, I went back for some thin drips and accented particular rivets or streaky areas. Even after painting, the toilet still smelled like the hazelnut syrup bottle I used, so it's definitely a 10 out of 10 huffing toilet. In the narrative of my mind, I had decided that Shrek Cyber Swamp was no longer habitable to plant life, but I changed my mind since I like adding flocking and I wanted to rely on it as a crutch to help elevate the look. I whipped up a batch of gooey swamp moss using half glue and half fine green turf, then spread it into various nooks and crannies, mostly sticking to the concrete block base, the roof, and any other areas where moisture would accumulate. After the green moss, I felt it could use one more layer. I sprinkled these crispy flakes across the roof and then anywhere where dead leaves would accumulate. Speaking of dead leaves, we have some dead space over here. Let's spend way too long photoshopping a Shrek Wanted poster, which you can download in the description for some reason. There's some important lore there, but mostly I've decided that Duloc and Night City exist in the same universe. I soaked it in watered down Mod Podge to lock in the crumpled pose, then aged it with a brown wash and a little bit of dirt for spice. I actually haven't played Cyberpunk yet, so I don't know if 2077 is all bleach spraying bidets, but let's make a classic toilet paper roll and then dab it in a little bit of mystery brown and dirt once again for spice. And then lastly, I hot glued this strip of LED fairy lights to this chunk of cardboard so that anyone who uses this outhouse can see what a horrible mistake they've made coming here. Thanks for watching everyone. Let's give a special hand to the newest patron, Kelly Knox. And of course I couldn't have done this without the support of all of my patrons. Check out my Patreon link in the description if you're interested in supporting me, otherwise I will devote this channel to famous toilet tutorials. I feel very thankful for all the support I've gotten this year, not just patrons, but every subscription and comment means a lot to me. This video marks the end of Studson in 2020, but I'll see anyone who sticks around in 2021 for more craft videos. Until next year, I hope the rest of your 2020 treats you pretty good, and thanks for watching. See ya! See ya!